What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mother Russia Bleeds, where, as usual, I'm getting my ass kicked. Good God. Apparently, that's how we solve this mission. We just run them into the train tracks. There's like a Viking dude back there with a battle shield. My visibility is, like, non-existent right now. That does kind of keep us from having to deal with too many enemies, but... Ooh. Do I just keep walking, or...? Okay. It seems like this might be a gimme, then. Basically, I just gotta keep them lined up on the tracks, and we should be solid. We'll fight anybody that gets too far down on the bottom rail. No! Oh, man. It's gonna be one of those missions. It's gonna be one of those ones. In essence, everybody's got a ground and pound in this game. It's like, holy shit. And you know that's exactly why they use these enemies for this map, too. Because if you get tackled, you're done. There you go. Get him out of my hair. Perfect. That dude's about to get ground up. Oh, really? The ones on the ground don't get... Okay. Alright. I can live with that. Let's move forward past our Viking friend again. Wah! Here we go. Gush. <laughs> Couple more down right there. See, I'm using... I, we've been taking outside objects to a whole new level with this train thing. Yeah, just walk into my punches. I don't care. Sounds good to me. Get rid of that girl real fast before she causes any more problems for me. Knock him down a little bit, too, and see if we can't kill a couple. I am never adverse to freebies if I can get them. No! Oh, we survived it! Yay! All it takes is, like, one hobo tackle, and you're done. Definitely got enemies vol enemy volume. So, am I just supposed to be, like... Laying enemies down non-stop? Is there something I'm supposed to be doing over here? Nothing appears to be shiny or whatever. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Get squished! Ooh, I timed that one just right. Yeah, it looks like you've just got to do the waves. Oh, great. Somebody grab a fly swatter. Heh, <laughs> cute. But you're the pest here. Hey, watch out. That guy's got night vision goggles. Try throwing these flash grenades at him. Ah, uh, wow, childish. Since you're nothing but rebellious kitties, I'll have to give you a good thrashing and put you to bed. Or I could just get him run over by a train, I mean... I think I gotta time it just right. Wow, that guy survived getting hit by a train. He might be on a whole nother level. We're dealing with a goddamn superhero here. Oh, nope, let's not go up there. You and your... Vanguard of hobos. Get up! Oh, I survived it. Weird. No, I didn't. Never mind. I got run over by the train. Maybe it just does damage and it only kills you if you're below a certain health threshold. That's rough, man. Those tackles. Those tackles are real rough in this fight.
Yeah, I mostly just need the soldier ladies to get whacked by a train right now. Okay, so we circle around this way. We pick up the grenade. And they get squished by a train, so that's number one. Now we gotta deal with grabby little hobos. Unfortunately, my line of sight keeps getting blocked whenever the train goes by. Come on. There we go. Eh, he's looking a little the worse for wear. There we go. Got rid of that hobo. I got that shit back. There we go. Not that bad of a fight. You just got to pick up a... Ew, it mangled him. God damn. That was brutal. You look like a human lasagna. Holy shit, we got him. Well then, this is where we part ways. You literally saved the revolution. I don't know how to thank you. How about telling me how to track down the Bratva? There's a private club downtown. Neon lights, two big statues out front. Can't miss it. It's apparently owned by the Bratva's top brass. And rumor is, they throw some really weird parties. Well, when I crash their little party, I guarantee it'll be a night to remember. Hey, don't play around. Those guys are dangerous, not to mention twisted. I don't know what you'll find down there, but prepare for the worst. And remember to meet us at the main square afterwards. That's where the revolution begins. We have a lot of work to do yet. Good luck, comrade. Time to dance. Did I get to swap characters finally? Oh my good lord. Cool, we got a roof of the train arena. I don't really want to deal with this character anymore, so I'm just going to swap her out real fast. Back to the main menu, and we'll do this in just a minute. Now we're back in the saddle with a character that I like. Now we got this thing. Here we go again. Another lousy stinking party. It paid jack shit to freeze my ass off in the snow. That's it, Igor. After the night, I quit. I gotta turn my life around, you know? I want to spend more time with my daughter, make sure she doesn't grow up without a dad. It'll be tough for a while, but anything's better than this job. I like how we make bootstep sounds, even though we're... Oh, gotta talk to these guys first. Sorry, pally, there's a private party. Hey, you understand Russian? Move along if you don't want no trouble. What if I just bust up your trash can? How about that? How do you feel about that shit? Uh. Oh, we got trouble now. Your daughter ain't seeing nobody anytime soon. What are you guys, like, all from the same family? Little egghead-looking Dr. Robotnik-ass punks. Let's go. What, you want to throw heads? You want to throw full heads? Mm -mm. Not today. There we go. Now I feel like I'm actually killing shit. There it is. Now I feel like we're actually getting shit done. See, that's my problem right there, is I just wouldn't deal enough damage. I like to go in for those long combos, and I don't think Natasha's in for them long combos. Oh, you guys thought that would work. You guys messing up the same way I was messing up. Missing those grabs and missing those hits. Man, Pinky over here has got a tough chin on him. I kicked that dude off the screen. I kicked that dude so hard he went out of frame. <laughs> oh, that was the stuff. That guy's got a dildo mouth. Y'all are freaky in here, I can tell. Try to hit me with a champagne bottle? I drink the champagne, I don't get hit with it. Nope. Hey, how's it going, spiky nipple lady? How you doing? Just chilling. Notice me bouncing to the beat right now? Trying to get the voices out of my head? I know that's an attractive trait in a man. Everybody wants to date a man who can't get the voices out of their head. There it is. Let's do this thing. Let's dance, sunshine. And that dude got a naked... She making it clap right now. She making it clap hard. Man, I'm about to get banned from YouTube. Ain't this a bitch. 
I'm going in on each and every one of you. I just want you to know that. That the ass whooping is definitely going to happen. Oh, man. I just need a little bit more juice. All right. Well, shit. You just messed up. That was my thing, man. I'm trying to develop a rapport here as a headbreaker, and you're just making it more difficult for me. All right. Let's avoid dashing in from now on. That doesn't seem to be working for me. There it is. Maybe we just walk in for a second, catch these guys up. Ugh. Get off my screen. My screen. I claim it. The guy keeps looking at me with his weird robot laser eye in the background and it's throwing me off. This dude needs to find better friends. It seems like he's been getting backstabbed a lot. This guy over here's got a pedo coat. Remind me never to go to the club in Russia. That guy's got a big pink dildo attached to his gimp suit. Man, the things we're learning here today. Avert your eyes, children. This game is rated mature. Ow. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, that guy got a fire extinguisher. Maybe not. My fire extinguisher now. All right, you guys come across the entire screen. He is really enjoying the music. I don't know if I could enjoy music properly while in a gimp suit with a giant pink dildo. I just I don't know if music would be my principal concern, but I guess whatever you're into, you know. Like I ain't mad, and I ain't trying to hate. Get it how you get it. That dude in the background on the right with the bald head looks like he's about to go, like, box a kangaroo or something. Oh, like, hell you did. Like, hell you did, sir. Uh-uh. These guys need to stop hovering along the edge of the screen. Oh, that guy's getting a blowy right there. Wow. Those servers, those waiters do come with full service. They were lying when they said full bar service. So they just add that onto the tab, or do you include that in the tip, or how does that work? Just for just for the sake of the joke, I'm going to say it gets added into the tip. It just seems punnier. It seems like it works better. How dare you backhand me? Don't you know me? I'm Boris. My name is Boris, and you can't ignore this. Come with a chorus of heads full of, I don't know, Chloris, Leechman. That dude's all kinds of suspended. Man, they weren't kidding. This is a freaky ass party. That dude's got his wiener out and everything back there. Man, this party got freaky real quick. Oh, you can jump in between layers too. Well, that would have been helpful to know. Oh, man. I'm gonna strongly suggest you guys get up and out of my business. My business. All right, you guys are really starting to annoy me with that shit. I'm going to beat you to death. Like, I get that you spend a lot of time at the gym, so you think you're tough. That ain't how this works around here. Look at me. I'm a psychotic Rasputin-ass-looking dude. Coming through your titty club. Knocking everybody out. Is that guy getting whipped on his wang? Oh, my God. <laughs> what part of that is enjoyable? To smack my wang with a blunt surface. Please. It's all I want from this life. Smack my wang. Nope. Stay on the ground. Apparently I can bang up the condom dispensers. That's what I like to see. Give me some of that good loving combos in here. Nobody's going to spasm for me. Well, fine then. I'm still going to break your condom machines though. Take that! Haha! -ha! Unwanted pregnancies! So much worse than a physical beating. Nope. Mm -mm. I'd walk out of this room so quickly. Whoa. What is that thing? Woof. Woof. I'm a good little doggy. Come again? When little doggies don't obey, they have to be punished. Woof. Woof. Doggy needs a nice master. 
Doggy will submit to this master. Okay, just listen. I don't know if you're wasted or just a nut job, but stay the hell away from me. Woof woof. Doggy will cover his nice master's rear. Uh, sure, just not too close. Keep your distance and I won't uh, hurt you. Good boy. Holy dude, are you seeing this shit? Answer me. Woof. Doggy is waiting for his master's commands. Fucking look behind you! Tell me you see them too, damn it! I said turn the fuck around. Oh, that's not good. I don't think Doggy's gonna help much with this situation. Doggy, no! I am faithful! I save you! Master comes! Ooh. Good God. That dude went through my combo. Can I even kill these or am I just running for it? Okay, I can kill these. Cover me, doggy! Okay, so we killed off one of my little shadow thingies. Oh, puked my guts out. I got beat up by a hallucination. Woof woof. Master is proud of his good little doggy. Would you give it a rest, freak? I need to get the hell out of here before I go nuts like him. Dude, you're bleeding out of your anus right now. Why would you ever come to a nightclub like this? If rectal bleeding is a part of the club experience, forget that. You will not find me in the club. 50 cents, stay the hell away from me. We are tripping hard right now. I mean, I kind of want this crowbar, so I guess I'll take it. That's a tiny little Jimmy bar, though. I don't even know what these dudes do, but I don't really want to risk it. Because they're wearing a pig thong, so there's always that to be worried about. I don't know if they're male or female. They definitely got boobies, though. It could be either or, it could be either or from the way I'm seeing it right now. Ooh, he's biting his face off. There you go, partner. This game kind of filthy. This game getting kind of deep in there. Starting to get those vibes that I got from some of those moments like in Dead Rising, you know, where like weird shit would happen. You're just like, Ugh. This situation's getting a little gnarly. I think I'm going to excuse myself. This is what Russian people have to deal with on a daily basis. I'd be like, I feel sorry for Russian people. Hallucinating, going to clubs where weird naked piggy titty ladies are trying to murder you. No, thank you. No, don't hit my dog. That's my dog. I'll finish the job over here. See, everything goes better once I'm playing Boris. Nothing ever goes wrong when I play Boris. It's only when I play those other characters that I get myself into trouble here. Give me the goo. Nice job. I'm rewarding him just like I would reward my normal dog. Just being like, you did a good job. Who's a good boy? Who made sure Master didn't get eaten by weird piggy titty ladies? I feel like I can be a little bit loose with my with my family friendly rule here. If you're this far into the series, you knew what to expect. Like, what did you think was going to happen? This just keeps getting weirder and weirder, so we might as well roll with it at this point. I refuse to feel guilty for it or censor myself any longer. Good. Even the game tells me I'm doing good. Oh, we got a bar stool now. We got a gun, though. Oh, shit. I don't know if this is the best plan using up all my pistol ammo right now. But I feel like if it uses up the ammo, because either I can use the gun or they can use the gun. And if you if they use the gun, they're definitely going to score a bunch of hits on me and it's going to suck. Because I'm going to get riddled with bullet holes. And then I'm going to get all frustrated and flustered. I'm not going to be able to do commentary. And then my hand-eye coordination is going to fail just like that. Damn it, grab him! I demand that you make with the grabbing. I'm glad the weapons get recycled a lot in this game. One of my big pet peeves about fighting games from back in the day is they would have, like, set specific... So you would have like that one weapon. So for example, the the thing that I would give you is like the dynamite or the grenades. Oh, he caught me just right. I ain't even mad. Game respect game, I guess. That flying elbow is a pretty legit attack. Oh. Damn it. See, all I wanted to do was this too. Now he's going to catch me with a bottle from off screen. Oh, never mind. I murdered him. 
So is everybody else aware of what's happening all around us right now? Or like, what's up with that? What's going on with this situation? Because I'm a little terrified. Your opponent's overindulge in air kicks. You can counter them with aerial grabs. No mercy for cowards. Oh, we'll see. Had I known that, apparently you can get through the... You gotta aerial grab them, though. I just hadn't seen the proper tooltip on the proper screen. I'm gonna call it right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Mother Russia Bleeds. This is a weird club. I don't think I would patronize this place. I don't think I would pay the cover fee. That's just insult to injury. It seems like they should be paying me to be here. I will see you all in the next episode. Get the game down below for yourself if you wanna. Bye, everybody.